Hey everyone, Rideshare Reseller Mike, and we're back behind the car. We're gonna show you what we got today and show you a few items that sold. Today was a, a decent day, we did okay. Found a few items, we did some books. Last day of the books, tomorrow is flea market. I'm gonna hook up my Hero GoPro and see if I can do a better job at the flea market tomorrow. Kind of give you a flavor of the flea market that I go to and we'll see if we can do better, all right? Anyhow. We're just going to go over a few things that we found and then a few things that sold. All right, right off the bat, you know I love these. You know it. You know it. 35 millimeter cameras, old school. This one here is a Ricoh FF20. I took it out of the bag. I paid $3.99 minus the 20% 20 per, 20 so about two dollars and I mean about three dollars and twenty cents with tax. Not a great one but it will get me 29 to 34.95. So simple flip. Again, I have a video out on what to look for on these. These are really, really good to, to find. And most people don't think there are any value in them. Some of them can go for three or 400 bucks. So keep your eye out for these. All right, up next. I gotta, I'm gonna have to open this one for you. I thought it was just kind of cool. It's the Spruce Goose, and I don't know if many of you know who the Spruce Goose is or what it is. It's an airplane, and who is famous for that airplane? I'm not going to get it out. You watch. And the person is Howard Hughes. It was stored down in Long Beach, California, and uh, it was, the, at the time, I think the world's biggest airplane, wingspan, something along those lines. And I only paid $1.99, and that's what it looks like. Little kind of a souvenir thing from the day. The Spruce Goose, have no idea the value, just thought it was cool and at $1.99, you know, 20, 30 bucks, who knows? Do a little bit more research, but I thought that's about what it's worth. Can't go wrong on two bucks though. All right, let's get into the next items. We'll put that aside for a second. Ooh, we're not in Kansas anymore. Nope, Dorothy, these are the Wacky Wobblers. Some of the Wacky Wobblers go for a lot of money. Um, this one here is Dorothy of the Wizard of Oz. And this one will get me about, I think, close to 40 in that range, $40. Box condition is it plays a lot with these guys who collect these. So, you know, you just got to disclose that, shoot some pictures. She's a little difficult to find, but uh, around 40 bucks. And what did I pay? $2.99. So a good little find. And sitting right next to her was Mickey and Minnie, Goofy, Pluto, and Donald. A nice little uh, water globe, snow globe, I guess you call it. Shake it up. And there it is, right? Anyhow, really good little find, $6.99. Uh, no box. These are a little tricky to uh, package. You got to protect that globe so it doesn't hit anything, obviously, but... I believe this is about 35 to 45 in that range. So minus that 20% still makes this very, a very, very good one. And it plays no problem. And there is no looking uh, chips or missing pieces. That's a big key with these. All right. Here's something cool. Malibu low voltage power supply. I paid 569 from Goodwill. Very, very cool. And this will get us about 45. It is brand new, so about $45. All right, let's take a look at the, what else we got. All right, here we go. How about this one? A puzzle. Ravensburger, Ravensburger puzzle. This one is uh, Disney Panorama. Very, very cool. And uh, this one will sell for around $30 to $35 is my guess on this. Somewhere in that range. No matter what. Even if I sold it for $29, I'm still going to make decent money on that. Ravensburger, sealed, Disney. Can't go wrong. Pretty much can't go wrong. Hi there. Hello, hello. Hi. All right. Nice evening. Yeah, I know. It's beautiful out, isn't it? Yeah. The neighbors are out. Everybody's walking. It's beautiful night, night in California. It's hot today. It was like uh, about 85. That's hot for us guys. So once the sun sets, everybody decides to come out. Anyhow, noiseless. This is, a, this is vintage. I found this in the bin 
of books. Yeah, in the bin of books. It's completely new. It's an ATX power supply. Windows 98 is what it says, 350 watt. But you know what? There's probably still some value in this thing. So, you know, even if I got 25 or $30, this is still going to be, uh, go towards that cost of that bin. So really, really interesting here is this one. This is cool. Old stock. Somebody will buy it. Someone will. All right. Bread and butter for me, guys. This is such bread and butter. Sony. And it's this one is a VHS. Now, what's cool about this one? It's got the remote, right? Number one, that's cool. But number two is, oh, we got a car coming. Gotta let the car go by. This one has a commercial skip. So I think that's why this one has the, yeah, a commercial skip in it. With the remote, there's a comp of 127 to 100. So this is an easy $100 bill and I paid Eleven ninety nine. So this is a this is a good one. It's 10, 10, 12 bucks into a hundred hundred twenty dollars, and it's super light. This one's not very heavy and it's not very big. Easy. This is actually an easy shipper. All right, I got to go around in the front of the car. I left something over here. Be right back. I'm back. You gotta love the way I work, right? <laughs> there it is. Coors beer, right? Very cool. There you go. Get a little bit of that glare out of there. Coors Beer, uh, $5.99 is what we paid for it. There's some comps on this guy at about $70, $75. So uh, beer signs, they can sell certain ones. Coors always seems to do pretty good. So this Coors one is really, really nice. All right, put her down. And uh, all right, let's get into, uh, let's get into, uh... all right, everyone. Old school boombox. <laughs> as much as I could play. That's Montrose, Ronnie Montrose. He has passed away, it used to be for the band Gamma, and that is a tape that I have that I take with me in my toolbox. If you watch my toolbox video, you'll know that I carry that with me, and today I used it for the tape and the batteries, nine volts. So I used the nine volts and the tape, tested, and it works just fine. This is a shortwave one, shortwave two radio, AM, FM, and the cassette. Now that I know it works, I only paid $3.99. I still would have picked it up. But I now am confident, you know, that it works, obviously. And it now is a $75 bill plus the shipping. This is a really cool one. I think what helped sell it was a shortwave one, shortwave two. Obviously, it's a standard boombox, if not. So watch that video, what to put in your toolbox. And you'll be amazed that even though this is only four bucks, it still, uh, you know, still worked for me and uh, made it made it, uh, made it it uh, worth 75 bucks since I tested it. All right, let's go on and take a look at what's sold. All right, hey everybody, we moved inside. Uh, just too busy outside right now. There was a lot of people out there, a lot of friends stopped by, said hello, neighbors, that kind of thing. Slowed me down just a little bit. And before I knew it, there was not enough light so i moved into the garage so that's where we're going to do the what sold we're going to show you five we'll show you five that what sold and let's start off with uh some more cds we don't have many left we have maybe four or five more bunches but this one was just a little uh rascals cd to show you guys this, this little two disc set with a little booklet the rascals it sold for 130 dollars and it'll come across there you know you've got to look for some of these cd box sets uh the one i really want to find is the grateful dead um they have a couple of them but they have one that goes for about a thousand dollars i think it's in like a little chest so that's my goal as far as uh cd box sets i really want to try and find that one but like I said, we really did good on this uh, whole entire lot of uh, CDs. We're down to the end, and I never thought we'd sell them all, and it looks like we're going to sell almost every single one. All right, up next was two Starbucks mugs, and, uh, you know, I got these. I think I got these at Savers. I'm pretty sure they were either $2.99, $3.99, minus 20 or 30%. And they sold for $49.95, so a really good little uh, little sale there. Um, 
I don't sell glass a lot of times, you know, it has to be pretty special. I knew these mugs would sell and I think it took two or three weeks for them to sell. I don't like to sit on these, this stuff anymore. So I'm pretty much out of the coffee mug unless it's very cool or it definitely is going to sell. Next up, some manga, and this is Bleach. I think it's one through 10. We got this at the flea market and we sold this set for $54.95. And we have some more sets still to sell. I think there's two, one bigger set and one little mini couple, uh, couple of books. So we should do okay with those. And up next is out of the book bin. Again, we just keep we keep doing pretty good out of the book bin. This is Geronimo Stilton, and this is a, a Scholastic series. Now, generally speaking, the Scholastic series is not good when you're scanning for books. Every time I see the Scholastic, it's like pretty sure it's not going to go anywhere unless it's in a lot. And this Geronimo Stilton had 31 of them. And they sold for $49.95 with $11.95 shipping, and it sold right away. Again, I've talked about this. My, my goal here is to move these. Books will add up fast in your, in your warehouse or your garage or wherever you're at. Before you know it, if you don't get control of it, it's going gonna, it's gonna to take, take over. So I'm, of all the things in my, in my garage, right now I'm most concerned about is books. Uh, I don't have a lot of bookcases in here. As a matter of fact, I have none. Um, if I had the space, I would have just a, a wall of bookcases, obviously, and then do it that way. But then I might open myself up to just, you know, putting way too many books in here. And it's a competitive industry. I just want to move them. I really don't want to sit on them. So I'm knocking these out as best I can, uh, you know, lotting them up and then hopefully just getting rid of them to just make good money. But, you know, not, not sit on them for three or four months. All right, last item. And this is a really, really good brand of kitchenware that we all look for. This is La Crusette. Uh, it's also couscous or something on the bottom. You, you, there's another word for it, but it's made in France. It's La Crusette. This was a pot green. Color plays a pretty big factor in this, uh, this company. The green is unique. Red is popular. There's some blue, uh, that kind of thing. So... Again, color will play a factor. This one was green. Boy, I want to say this one. I think I got this one at Goodwill. Uh, I'm, I'm starting to, things are starting to run together. And ever since I kind of reorganized the garage a little bit, it um, kind of has messed me up. I, I reorganized, so I moved some things around. So it's kind of messed me up, even in my mind, as far as what I paid for certain things. When I used to be really good at it, now I'm kind of like, okay, where did I get that at? I don't know why, but it, it is. And I, I'm, I'm pretty sure I paid no more than 10 or $11 for this. And it sold for 80 and $24.95 shipping to Texas. And as I remember, it's, it's right behind me because I just shipped it, boxed it. It was only about $15 to ship on the $24.95. So pretty good. All right. A little mix up there on the uh, filming. Split it out. But you got into the garage. And... Uh, Got at least a, a video out of here. Tomorrow's flea market. We'll see what we can come up with, right? I'm going to take the GoPro Hero out and see if that helps me out and frees some of my hands up so I can kind of pick some things up and hold them. Uh, I was doing it all with my iPhone, and that's not good. All right. Again, so many thanks to everybody, and we will see you later. Thanks again for watching.